Hey guys, welcome to Zero Degree Coder. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can you make your portfolio looking like this. So this is so cool, made in React, fully responsive, and with the a modern portfolio. So, so has a name. Here I am. Hello, I am whatever the name. Full stack web developer. Download this zoom and hire me. Okay, if you click on hire me, it will uh, like navigate to the contact page. Okay, and okay and there's also one more thing okay just i want to show you later okay. so on the top i've added the my dp the code about my professional dp and beside that my all the social handle if i click on scroll down then it will look for, like, navigate me on the bottom of the page okay so the next thing comes is that like about me page so on about me like a short description about me and the project like I have completed three projects, whatever you can add. And here are some sort of motto, like education is a passport to the future tomorrow. So, okay. And the next thing, the most important thing for the recruiter that see is that, uh, just one second, yeah. Like it's responsive or not, okay. So I'm gonna show you, like there is, like, it's a fully responsive. Here you can see a cool, like awesome, great, uh home like hamburger menu whatever you can say so it has like it's fully responsive as the sort about the educations and your education and my experience whatever you have, you will learn tech stack my portfolio in my in the like recent work i've added all the recent work uh with the link you know data link and live demo if you click on live demo it will navigate to the live demo page and so on so on and the bottom is you can see oh, it's a fully responsive web page so so i i'm gonna gonna give you the source code of this uh code uh, you have to just do a git clone okay so how can you do it? you have to go on the okay so the things you have to do just copy this link and on your terminal do git clone and the paste it and after uh like cloning this project uh Okay, then you like open this folder in your VS code and do npm i to install the all the packages. After installing the, all the packages, you have to change your link according to you. So initially you see your app looking like this. Okay, so currently uh, this app is running on my local host. You can see on the local host something something. Okay, so uh, okay. Ha. So now it's time to it's time it's my time to make this code for you for your. Okay, so how can you make this? So in the after JSON, we like uh we uh what do you know, import all the components. So on the like there is a header napper about education experience portfolio contact footer. All this stuff is here. Okay, if you click on header, so there is a like uh hello, I'm I'm whatever like I can add hello, I'm John, I'm John Doe. Okay, so yeah, so you can also change your name according to you. The role should be like this. Uh, if we talk about role, then you can just add like I'm a web designer, web designer. Okay, so you can see whatever you want to change, go ahead and change. Okay, the next thing comes about the recruiter is that how we're gonna take the resume. So the most important things for the recruiter is also your resume. So on the I've added the component called header social. So when you click on the header social, it will navigate to the header social page. Okay. On the header social, we have added the LinkedIn link and the GitHub link. So you have to just do this one, like change this one according to you and this one also. Okay. So this is all about the, uh, what is it? Uh, for the social handle. The next thing comes about the like, scroll down. Okay. On the scroll down, so it will like navigate to the contact page. So how we have implemented the scroll down. So on the contact page, we have given the view as a like, uh, ID as a contact. So, and, and I have added the href as a contact. So if you want to just keep uh, something else, then you can also change the ID according to you, okay? So I think ID is done. The next thing comes is that uh, nav bar, okay? On the nav bar, I can show you what is nav bar at this page, just comment it and, and refresh the page. So you can see what is nav bar. So nav bar is like, you know, that's all the menu. So I comment it and you can see the coolest nav bar in this portfolio that makes a very cool impact on the uh, on the recruiter. Okay. 
So on the navbar, if I show you, so in the navbar, I've added all the items according to me. And as a some logic, you can also change according to you. And, and I'm using like and icons from the React icons. There's a package called React icons. So if you do and from I React icon, then you can install the all the packages of React icon and you can use whatever you want to use. But that's a cool thing. And the next thing is that about section. So you can see like this is about section about container. So you can see I've added the some something, something, something details, a sort description. You can also change this one, like I can change that just load him uh 10 word. So it will change for me and load him 10 word. And you can also change this. And if you want to remove this image, uh then you can also go ahead and change remove the image if you want to totally do then oh my bad this one oh sorry uh and this one okay so you can also see that you can also remove the image i think this one maybe just hold down yeah i think this you can remove the image if you wanted to remove and add it with uh, something else you can also add here okay the next thing comes about that the education section. The education section is one of the most important for the recruiter. And you have to make a very good impact on the recruiter that your resume got shortlist for the interview round. Okay. So if I click on the portfolio and you can see like I've added my recent work. Where's that? Oh my bad. My bad, my bad. Yeah, if you click on experience, so I can show you uh, my experience, whatever you can say. Just go ahead and just change the like you know hard coded data, whatever there is. Then by changing that data, you can make your resume for you. And if you want to remove something else like this image, you you don't want to add and you can remove this also. And the next thing comes about the experience section. So as you can see, so was whatever you can add and you can also remove from the hair. It's so simple and straight go forward if you don't react. So it's not like taking or it's any stronger, just simple, simple. And the most important thing is that for the portfolio is your project. So how would like in this project, like for this, so uh, like I have to like make an IO for data, like my data link, uh, the ID image for the, you know, whatever the image, I just imported the image like this. Like, you can import image like this. And I added to take a stack, title, GitHub link, a demo link. And just map the data, you know, data.map, element, return article.key, element.id, and so on, so on, that. Okay. And the next thing comes about the contact page that the tutor you contact. So here I implemented this email JS using, like, you know, you can also implement email JS using the email JS to interpret the image from smart tape. And yeah, that's it about the contact. The footer, the small footer, you can also change whatever you want to change. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, I think that's straightforward. Okay, uh, you have to just do nothing else, like you have to just do the clone. Okay, I will provide the uh, full link and I will also provide the like, deploy link also in the description box. You can do the clone and yeah, and make your this portfolio for your review. Resume that's it. Thank you.